I'm searching the MLS for C-Class rental properties priced at 40000 or below. Alonzo, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Alonzo, my man. Uh, quickly, a little bit about you, brother. Um, you are 42 years old, you're an investor. First time investor, you live in Atlanta, Georgia, and you have been working in the hospitality industry for over 20 years. So since you've been 22 years old, uh, you were a GM, uh, food service type stuff. You worked at a TGI Friday, stuff like that. And your goal with real estate is to get out of the rat race, get off the hamster wheel. Makes sense, brother. I appreciate that. I worked in restaurants myself um, when I was like in high school and stuff. Uh, so, you know, familiar with that industry. I could see why you'd like to eventually get out of the industry. 20 years uh, is a long time. Um, and that is what's so great about real estate, you know. We can take our day jobs, take the money we make from our day jobs, and we could, you know, eventually create that financial freedom for ourselves. And that's what you're here talking to me for. Um, you have ten thousand dollars. You've saved up ten grand, okay? And you are pre-approved, and you would like to target C-class properties uh, per your email in the twenty-five to forty thousand dollar range. Now, I'm assuming you said you did get pre-approved uh, through Wells Fargo. I'm assuming the cap on the the either you are pre-approved for up to 40k or more than likely you can be around that area but you're picking 40k because you have 10k cash so you know we can quadruple that right you got to put down 25 percent on any of these rentals so you have 10,000 in the bank so you're capping yourself at 40,000 uh, so that's your criteria right um, that's what you're looking for. Uh, you know, we have the daily emails I send out every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, let me go to holtonwise.com real quick just to show you guys. Uh, for anyone else watching this, um, you know, Alonzo has probably seen this two months before you guys. I'm going to go over some properties here and I will not uh, launch this publicly until Alonzo can either buy or they, you know, buy him himself or they sell. You know, I wouldn't want you to be able to have Alonzo pay for this search and then you come in uh, and snake his deal. But later, when the properties are no longer on the market, I do release all of this publicly for everyone to learn from. So Alonzo, definitely check out the other analysis that I've done for other people, just so you could learn. Uh, but quickly, right? So if you go to the property search tab, and click the start here tab, that'll take you to a link to subscribe to my mailing list. I will send you free analysis every day one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. These are all the properties I'm selling. I'm number one seller in Cleveland as far as rental properties are concerned. But if what you are looking for isn't on my daily list, right? Number one, when my properties come out, they go quick, man. Like the same day the videos launch, typically get, you know, a ton of offers, sell them that day. So there's a lot more investors trying to get this real estate um, than inventory that I have available. Uh, so let's utilize the market, right? In the Cleveland market, we got over 5,000 realtors out here. Not to mention we got for sale by owner, uh, Craigslist, wholesalers, maybe you're doing your own direct mail, bank tapes, REOs, other turnkey, you know, promoters, whatever. Long story short, I sell the most of any person, but there is a lot more real estate out there, a lot more rental real estate in the Cleveland market. I don't want you guys to miss that. So that's what I created these analysis and MLS search products the MLS search and analysis show. Check out the other episodes um, to get your own episode like Alonzo's doing. You go right here, you click on the products. The cheapest product, the entry level product is a desktop video analysis, $4.99. That's a property you found, you want me to analyze it. What my man Alonzo was doing is he gave me his criteria because he hasn't found anything uh, that he thinks will be the right property. Uh, so that's what I'm doing for him. 
I am finding him the right property that closest meets his criteria and what I think makes sense for him. And the cost on that right now is $7.99. Make sure you guys order yourself one before the prices go up. Because as the view counts and the subscribers, as those rise, typically overhead rises and typically costs, they go up. So hop on that now Why it's this cheap, guys. All right, so Alonzo. I, uh, in my MLS search, you know, I, uh, I've already created myself like templated searches because I do this a lot, right? So right here, I have all the B and C class singles and I have punched in some other things to narrow down the list. Uh, I did three bedroom homes and up only. I didn't want to search any two bedroom homes. Every now and again, we have two bedroom homes. Uh, you know, those can be nice investments. They're typically uh, pretty cheap. But if we go three bedrooms and up, uh, you are going to have the best best experience because reselling it will be much easier renting it all the time will be much easier so i wanted to limit you uh to three bedrooms and there really wasn't very many uh op there's a couple two bedroom homes on the market but they they weren't good anyway so i just wanted to limit this right here three bedrooms these are b and c class you have 58 available uh to you and then uh i also have another search for uh with just my c's and d's so you're looking for C's. So one search, I have 58 available, which includes all the C's, but it has some B's. And the one which includes the C's, but has some D's uh, in our price range, which you're looking for up to 40K. So I set the searches up up to 50K because, you know, there could be negotiations. So we got 16 uh, in the D class if we add D class in there. Now, uh, I was not able to find anything that will fit what you're looking for specifically, right? You wanted C-Class, 40K is the max. You wanted tenants in there. You didn't want to have to do any work. Uh, there was no C-Class that specifically met that criteria that I thought would be good for you. Um, so I have the D-Class stuff here. And there are some D-class properties that you can get in for under 40K. Um, but I do not think that it is necessarily a good idea for you to just change your criteria uh, like that, right? Like you are looking for C-class. You're a brand new investor and you have identified that you want to get a C-class property. So a C-class property meeting your specific budget is not available and, uh, you know, that budget's probably a little low. That may have worked a couple years ago, but not, not in the Cleveland market right now, man. That might be too low. So you don't want to lower your standards of what you're looking for, what your risk tolerance is. Don't lower that right now. Instead, maybe increase your budget a bit and see what else we can find. Uh, I think that's the better move, right? Especially a brand new real estate investor. And this is it. This is your entire nest egg, bro, right? Like this is going to be all your money, this one investment. Now, myself, I have a lot of D-class properties, right? But I also am very well, um, you know, spread out, so to speak, right? Like, if some of my investments do bad for a little while, it's okay because I have hundreds of investments. I have so many sources of income. I can, uh, you know, accept losses here and there. you got to put all your eggs in one basket right now, man, because this is it. This is your first, uh, first, first and only foray, foray at this moment. So you wanted C, you're comfortable with C. I don't want to see you drop down to D. So what I found, the property I think is the best is this one right here. 14240 Cranwood Park Boulevard, Garfield Heights, Ohio, 44125. Now Garfield's pretty cool because uh, Garfield, it's more or less like a, a, a low B, high C, right? Like, you know, not every street's the same, but more or less, if you throw a dart at Garfield, you're, you're, you know, C plus B minus, like exactly what you are. And it's, you know, on semantics, it's uh, six to one, half dozen to the other. Um, but Garfield is a nice area. You're not going to have any issues with the quality. So this property, a little brick, a little brick house right here. looks pretty nice. We got a couple issues, right? Like you see the gutter, you know, it's falling off the house, but that's like no big deal. Uh, going to the actual MLS listing itself. This property, very close to your uh, budget, right? 48000 is what this one is listed for, right? That's listed. That doesn't mean that's what you have to pay for it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Th you know, that's going to happen during the negotiation phase. But you're very, very close, right? You wanted to spend forty. This is only forty-eight. 
you have ten thousand dollars in the bank right now a down payment on this bad boy is only going to be i think it's twelve thousand dollars i wrote that down uh, da, 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 da. Yes, it's only going to be $12,000. So it's only a $2,000 difference. So rather than lower your standards, lower uh, you know, what you're looking for, at this moment in your life, you know, you're hoping to get C, but then you just throw that out because you can't find it for your budget. For only $2,000 cash, I'd rather see you, if you can't put together that extra $2,000 right now, uh, I'd rather see you just wait, man, because I don't want you to take your entire nest egg and push into something you might not be comfortable with. So assuming... You can come up with that extra two grand. Um, this is the property I think that will work for you. And that's again, you only have to come up with that two grand if you have to pay list price. You know, you could make offers a little bit lower, right? Like forty thousand, you know, is not very far off from forty-eight thousand. This one is listed, uh, by the way, by a Century Twenty One realtor, and this one already has a tenant in place. The tenant is paying. $850 a month. So we're checking off some boxes. We're very close on price. The quality of the neighborhood, it's there. It is already rented, so you're not going to really need to do anything inside the property. Here are the pictures from that Century 21 listing. You know, nice looking little kitchen here. You know, we had a, this is when it's empty, right? Probably right after they did the rent ready renovation. Okay. This is with the tenant living there, I assume. You know, that looks pretty nice, man. You got the wood floors. They got the tile around the shower there. You know, nice modern fixtures. Uh, we go agreeable gray. This looks to be like more of like a tan, but, you know, it's pretty close. You got the white trim. I mean, this, this is nice, right? You know, here's with the tenant's bed and stuff in there. Uh, just more or less, right? This is a pretty nice home. Just a nice little bungalow home. I like that they left the exposed brick. This is a nice rental property, man. Uh, this is definitely the way to go uh, as opposed to going into an area you might not be comfortable with. Remember, you can get all this for only an additional $2,000 cash. And that's if when you're working with the Century 21 agent or you're working through me to negotiate with the Century 21 agent, that's if we can't get you anything off that purchase price, the list price of $48,000. You know, we might be able to pick it up for like $41,000, $42,000, dollars you know, somewhere in there. We're so damn close. You know, this is a pretty decently new hot water tank. Same thing, this furnace looks pretty decently new as well. And that is an updated electric panel. So this is definitely, in my opinion, the best property on the market uh, for you. I went ahead and I ran the numbers as well. So three beds, one bath, $850 a month in rent. That would equate to $10,200 in rent every single year. That's your gross rent. But... This is real estate. There are variables at play. Just because you're supposed to make $10,200 every year doesn't mean you're going to make $10,200 every year. It ain't that easy, bro, right? There's variables. There's issues. There's costs to this. Looking at this slide, I have broken down estimates on all those costs. A15 rent every month, $10,200 every year, right? But our costs, we're going to have repairs. We're going to have vacancies. We're going to have capital expenditures. And with those vacancies, maybe the unit isn't even vacant. Maybe the tenant is still there, but they're just not paying you rent, dude. They do that sometimes, right? Now, as we go up in asset class, the frequency in which people say, fuck you, Alonzo, I'm not going to pay you rent and I'm not moving out, that's going to go down. That's why I'd rather see you spend the additional 2000 cash to go up with your budget as opposed to go down with your standards, especially if you're a brand new investor, doing it from out of state, never done it before, and possibly the most important thing, this is your entire nest egg, dude. I do not want you to put your only investment capital into something higher risk than you're comfortable with. That is like literally, if there's one thing you take away from this video, that is it right there. There's nothing wrong. If you can't come up with the additional funds to cover this, there is nothing wrong with working your job, working a second job, working a third job, work, you know, drive Uber if you have to, to stack the cash to get to where you can put your money in the, in the investment that you're comfortable with. There's no shame in waiting an additional six months, 12 months, a year, two years. No shame in waiting that out, bro. That's the, I literally cannot stress that to you enough. Uh, back to the numbers though on the slide here, right? So repairs, vacancy, and non-pay capital expenditures. Now, these are variable in nature, right? 
but you know, having managed thousands of properties, thousands of tenants, uh, I could tell you a property like this over the long haul is going to reasonably, you can reasonably estimate about 5%. So I've penciled in 4250 for all three of those. And honestly, as far as uh, the repairs and the vacancy and the non-pay, I usually use that um, for my multi-families. Uh, we see a, a little bit of a drop off in those numbers uh, for single families. People tend to move a lot less in single families, but I didn't want to estimate it any lower. I think that would be disingenuous. I think that's too pie in the sky, showing people too much uh, of just the good, right? I like to be as transparent as possible. I'd rather under deliver over promise, man. So I, I went 42.50. Your taxes, 21.30 a year, so that's 177.50 a month. Uh, Kevin Hogue over at the Hogue Insurance Agency. Contact info to that in the show notes. He can insure this. I think you're going to spend about 80 bucks a month on a policy from him, depending on what policy you get. Just so everyone watching this knows, uh, we are able to offer insurance to landlords. Uh, you know, everywhere in Ohio, we're also doing Birmingham, Alabama, so all of Alabama. We are working in uh, the Indianapolis market now, so anywhere in Indiana, and then Tennessee. I know there is a ton of people looking at rental properties in Memphis. We are able to offer insurance in Memphis, Tennessee, the entire state of Tennessee, rather. So if you're, you know, an investor buying in the Memphis, Tennessee market, you know, you need insurance. You want us to to quote you the best possible policy because, you know, I'm a partner in that business with Kevin. He runs the day to days for me. Uh, but, you know, he's an investor. He's worked for me at Holt Wise for almost five years now. Uh, we only handle investors, guys. That's all we do, investors. So we know what you're looking for. You know, Kevin's not going to get on the phone with you and try to, you know, sell you a policy that a regular, you know, residential insurance broker is going to do. He gets that you're a landlord. He gets that the ROI is all that matters. Uh, so if you're in any of those four states or anywhere else uh, in the Midwest where turnkey real estate is popular, reach out to Kevin Hogue, the Hogue Insurance Agency, information in the show notes. Let's see if we can't lower your premium, increase that ROI. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Back to the chart with the numbers here. Water, sewer, you got to pay it, even though it's a single family home. Here in Cleveland, you have to pay to water and sewer. Uh, that should be about 75 a month. That could go up, that could go down. If you go to the FAC on HoltonWise.com, if you scroll all the way down, I've addressed why real estate investors need to pay the water and sewer uh, at all their rental properties, even single family properties. It has to do with the laws of Ohio, as well as how the Cleveland uh, water department, how everything works. It's a big long story, Lonzo. I don't want to read it all to you right now, so you'll have to check that out in the fact. Rounding out, lawn care. Uh, typically on multifamilies, you got to pay Holton Wise to do this. So if you've seen any of my other analysis, I usually have about 530, 525, somewhere in there a year. You should not have to worry about that because this is a single family home. Now, when it goes vacant, yeah, if it's vacant during uh, the spring or the summer, you're going to have to pay us. It's I think it's 33 a cut right now is what it is. 33 or 34 a cut. I don't remember off the top of my head. You'll have to pay us to cut it uh, when it's vacant. But when that tenant goes in, we've provided them a garage uh, so they can store their own lawn equipment. We push that burden onto the tenant. Last thing you got to worry about, dude, property management. Obviously, you got to pay the man. So you're bringing in 850 bucks a month in rent. You got to pay 85 bucks a month in property management fees. So that's 1020 for the year. So... Our total expenses on this bad boy, 6540 a year, right? You're bringing in 10200 Estimating, you know, planning ahead, like capital expenditures, right? Just so you know, right? That furnace, that looks pretty nice. That hot water tank, it looks pretty nice. But I budget 
for the fact that I know eventually you're going to have to replace the hot water tank. Eventually you're going to have to replace that furnace. Eventually you're going to have to replace that roof. Like this roof on this house is probably a $4,000, maybe $5,000 roof. Roofs like this in Cleveland, they're going to last 30 years. There is no person in the world uh, who's going to install a roof for you that's going to last more than 30 years. Like if you guys are out there talking to agents, talking to sellers, talking to wholesalers, whatever, because, uh, you know, I sell so many properties. When I go over properties I'm selling for sellers, you know, I say, hey, how old's the roof? And they always tell me, this is usually their answer, oh, the roof's good. That, well, that's great, dude. What the fuck does the roof's good mean? It's not leaking right now. That's fucking fine. But that's not what I asked. I need to know the age of the roof so I can estimate when I'm going to have to replace it, right? Because the roof should last you 30 years. Cool. On year one, the roof is good. On year 29, if it's going to last you 30 years, theoretically, the roof is still good. But that's definitely going to change things because in one year, you're going to have to pony up another five grand. So a 29-year-old roof that might be good is a lot different uh, than a brand new roof that's also good. Um, but because of that, I budget that stuff for you. When I run these numbers for you, I budget that. That's why every single month you are putting $42.50 into your, you know, your savings account for your good roof or your good furnace or your good hot water tank because eventually they're not going to be good, right? Furnaces, 30, 40 years. After that, you're looking at about three Gs. Hot water tanks, 10 to 15 years, closer to 15 I see uh, in most of our properties. You're looking at 1,000. That roof, like I said, four to 5,000 on this house. So keep that in mind. Uh, so accounting for everything, right? Accounting for all of it, 6,540 bucks every year with stuff that you're paying right now or stuff you're saving for future issues. On average, I assume you'll put in your pocket $3,660 a year in profit. Now, that's, a, that's an estimate, right? Could go up, could go down. Like the year you actually spend six grand, five grand rather, on your roof is going to be a lot different than all those years that that $4,250 was just going in your pocket. So that averages out to a net, you know, a net operating income of $305 a month. Now, you wanted to finance this asset, uh, so this is where it gets cool. Uh, with everything I've ran so far, just so you know, this is a, a 7.6 cap. So that's a very, very good cap. Um, and leverage is the way to go, right? You know, again, you only got to come up with $12,000. You can control this real estate. Uh, so if you go, HoltonWise.com, Tools and Resources, we got a mortgage calculator on the website for you guys. So you go ahead and punch in uh, what your mortgage is going to need to be, right? So you got to put down 25%. So your down payment, the money that to get into this deal, all you got to do is put down 12 grand. So you put down 12 grand, that means the bank, they're going to loan you um, $36,000 over 30 years, right? And then boom, we pop out your amortization schedule for you so you can see what that is. So that's going to come to a monthly mortgage payment, $182.41 a month. Uh, so out of your $3,660 in profit every year, you know, now that you have this mortgage, right, because you only put down $12,000 into the deal, you got to pay $2,188.92 to the bank. But the cool thing is you're not paying that. The tenant's paying it for you. Uh, so after you account for that, with you not buying it cash, with you only putting down $12,000, you should, on average, now some years are going to be higher, some years are going to be lower, but on average, you're going to be pocketing $122.59 a month or $1,471.08 a year. So on average, with only $12,000, you should bring home, on average, $1,471.08. That, doing the math at home, just so you know, you take that number, divide that by the cash you've got into the deal. That'll give you your cash on cash return, which is 18.24%. So... That's why I chose this property for you, Alonzo. I don't want you going into a more risky situation than you're comfortable with, number one. Number two, you can only do one investment right now, so I'd rather see you save a little bit of money and pick a really, really good one because you can't afford to mess this one up, brother. So if you are not ready and you don't have that funds, if you don't have those funds right now, there is no shame in waiting six months, 12 months, 18 months. Work in a second job, work in a third job. Like I said, man, if you have to drive Uber, man, you only got to save up two grand. Just, you know, on your days off, just drive Uber until you save uh, two grand, and then you could pick up a nice quality asset like this. Now, 
uh, there's some some more more good stuff to this property. All the numbers I just ran for you, that is based on what the property is doing right now, currently, with that tenant paying $8.50 a month. With that tenant paying $8.50 a month and you paying list price, 18.24% cash on cash return. That's how you can go from being a dude who's working in restaurants who wants to get out of working in restaurants to being a wealthy person is making solid investments like that for sure. Here's the kicker though. Number one, 850, that's not even market rent. This property, this should be renting for $1,000. So you're bringing home $122.59 on average a month right now. Okay, but just because you get a higher rent don't mean your expenses are going to increase, right? It's the same property, right? But really, you should be pulling in another 150 So that's all profit, really. So if you eventually got that tenant's rent up, you, in reality, would be bringing you know, home about two seventy two fifty nine, dollars And that's after that tenant pays off your mortgage. Now, I just showed you how to run the numbers. So I'd like you to, you know, as some homework for yourself, why don't you rerun every number I ran? But instead of using the income of eight fifty, use income every month of one thousand and see what your cash on cash return is. And for anybody else that's watching this video, do me a favor: do the math yourself based on the same way I ran the numbers, but utilize one thousand dollars as the rental amount. And in the comments below, tell me what the cash on cash return is going to be. At eight fifty. It's 18.24%. I want to know what you think the cash on cash return is going to be if we're bringing in a thousand bucks a month in rent. Anybody who guesses right is going to get a shout out in one of my next videos. So that's what I want to see. I want to see the cash on cash returns using the same numbers I did with the only change being the rent going from $850 a month to $1,000 a month. The second thing that I like uh, about this deal that I think is good for you is when we have these like nice turnkey rental properties and they're renting for about a thousand bucks, we are selling these for a lot more, right? We're selling them for a lot more than 48,000. So like I, I'm regularly seeing properties in Garfield going for 65, 75,000 with that thousand bucks a month in rent. So you have some meat on the bone, my opinion, right? With the rent, you also have some meat on the bone with your resale value down the road. Uh, so for those reasons, uh, this is the property I have found for you on the MLS. This is the property I think will best work for you. Now, I said earlier in the video, I like to under-promise and over-deliver. Expanding your real estate holdings to multiple markets is a great way to reduce your risk. Birmingham, Alabama features an unemployment rate that is well below the national average. In fact, Birmingham's growing tech scene has been highlighted by both Fords and Barons. That, coupled with Birmingham's low price to rent ratio, is why so many investors from around the US have been flocking to the area to put their money to work. Spartan Invest has helped hundreds of investors successfully buy cash flowing real estate in Birmingham. With an average tenant stay of 39 months, it's easy to see why Spartan Invest maintains an annual occupancy rate above 95%. To learn more about the turnkey opportunities in Birmingham, Alabama, contact Spartan Invest today at 205-202-4118 or visit them online at SpartanInvest.com. I'm not the listing agent on this deal, right? <clears throat> This is, uh, like I said, listed by a guy from Century 21. Now, you can do these a couple ways, guys. Number one, you know, you just have me search these for you, but it takes me roughly a week to put together these videos, right? So I could put together the video for you, um, but you know, you're paying for my time, you're paying for my team to put together a video. Sometimes it's possible these properties could sell in the time I, you know started looking for them in the time the video is actually edited and produced and sent to you uh, or if like you're looking at your own property you found your own property you could send it to me but it's going to take me a week before i can you know fully do an analysis and give you a video uh, so a couple things you could do it two ways you could just roll the dice you see a property you like you want to have me do the analysis and you just hope nobody buys it for that week or what i recommend you do is if you see a property you like Go to the listing agent directly, make an, an offer at list price, contingent, do your normal due diligence, so you're contingent on your financing, your appraisal, and also contingent on your normal stuff, your home inspection, but also make it contingent on a analysis. Be like, hey, I have a real estate broker. 
you know, he's going to do a video analysis. I'm out of state. I want him to do a video analysis on this. So my offer, full price, contingent, inspection, appraisal, financing, and the video analysis. You're up front. If you go directly to the listing agent, the listing agent is going to make double the amount of commission that they would make if you went to another realtor or like through me or something like that. They're getting double the commission if you go right to them. So they're not going to be afraid to accept your offer. They're going to be pushing your offer harder than any other offer that comes in. So if they have three like offers and yours is through them and the other two are through other realtors, well, guess who's going to get the deal? You're going to get the deal. So don't worry about me. Um, don't worry about like me not getting paid on that. I actually uh, don't care about that, right? Because you know, you're paying me right now. Uh, so I'm able to give you an unbiased look at it. So I don't make any more or less money that I'm already making if you buy or don't buy this property. So I'm able to give you the most unbiased uh, opinion possible, number one. Number two, you're able to get better deals uh, moving quickly. Uh, but some folks, they, you know, they still want me to write the offer because they're uncomfortable going to the listing agent. That's fine. You're just going to have to roll the dice uh, and hope that nobody comes in and buys your deal in the seven-day window uh, from when you saw it to when we can actually produce you the analysis and then you can decide to move forward or not. Uh, that's a low risk. You know, a bigger risk would be buying it without this information and then losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, so that's out there. But again, personally, I understand why you'd want to use me as your broker so you know I could take care of you uh, and make sure you don't make any mistakes in the, in the transaction. But really, I feel after I do an analysis, I've armed you with all the knowledge you really need to navigate that on your own directly through that listing agent. But those are the two options, so whatever you feel most comfortable with, go for it. Uh, but again, like I said, under promise, over deliver, Alonzo. I like you, man. You seem like a good dude. Uh, so in the totally random event that this property uh, has sold before you get to watch this video, I identified two more properties that I thought would be cool for you. The first one, 3320 West 99th. This is something worth looking in. Closer to your budget, 45000 This is a C-class area. You're going to see a slight drop off in this neighborhood uh, versus the, uh, the Garfield house, right? We just got some exterior photos. This is listed by a guy out of Regal Realty. Uh, he did not list the rental amount that the property is renting for in his MLS listing. You're going to find a lot of that, guys. That's why you're coming to me for this kind of stuff. Most realtors, like 99% of realtors, they sell residential real estate. People buying and selling homes they're going to live in. Them driving people around, looking at drapes, people talking about putting up fences, crap like that. That's not what I do. I don't do that. Just so you know, Alonzo, if you ever moved to Cleveland and you needed a house for like you and your wife or something, I would not drive you around and sell it to you. I only sell money. I sell investment real estate, right? Uh, so that's why you come to me for this knowledge, the investor knowledge. Uh, my office, we did contact his office to try to get that rental amount, um, but we were unable to get it. The particular agent uh, was not in the building. So I don't know what the rental amount currently is. However, the property should have a market rent of nine seventy-five to a thousand. So, if for whatever reason the Cranwood deal doesn't go through for you, I would move on to this one as my second property that I would look into. Forty-five uh, k. I don't know what the current rent is, but you should be getting nine seventy-five, maybe nine fifty, nine seventy-five, or a thousand. That's like what market rent you could get. Also, just so you know, why we're in here. It's three beds, two baths, and when you're running your numbers, because remember, I taught you how to do the numbers. You can do the numbers on your own now. Your annual taxes are going to be $1,022 a year. So your taxes are going to be cheaper than Cranwood. Uh, but again, I still think Cranwood is the better investment. And then I gave you a third one, too, just to look at, right? If for whatever reason you couldn't get Cranwood, you couldn't get West 99th. Third one for you to look at, man, 4805 East 84th Garfield Heights, 44125. This one is listed at 49,000, okay? This one is empty, but it was in a pretty good condition. Let me refresh this here. Technical difficulties. All right, here we go. This one, 49,000, this one's empty. It, you know, this is like, I think this is the third one for you because it doesn't meet your criteria as close to the other two because you wanted a tenant already in there. Uh, but this one, you know, it appeared to be in pretty decent shape. Um, you got to do a little bit of TLC to this, you know, repainting, maybe new carpet or some uh, new vinyl flooring, like this this parquet looking weird stuff. That's pretty dated. It's pretty ugly. Uh, 
But, you know, a nice little cosmetic rental. Like, you don't really need to, you know, these are new Home Depot Lowe's type cabinets. So uh, just some, like, fresh paint will really go a long way. A little bit of overhaul in that bathroom. Uh, and we can get this thing looking spick and span. Uh, but that would require you to put some money in, some upfront money to get it going. So I would say definitely that's probably your the third best, you know, deal for you based on what you're doing. So in summary, I want you to go after Cranwood. I think that will work for you. Uh, if you can't get that one, you know, look into going for uh, West 99th, and then this one could be a third possible option. Now, one other thing I did not mention up until now, Garfield Heights has what's called a point of sale. Uh, it's a point of sale city. So anytime somebody sells a property in Garfield Heights, the seller has to go to the city. The city has to come out, inspect it, and the city can issue violations. Okay? Now for Cranwood, see this right here? This little sidewalk that's cracked? That's probably going to be a POS violation. The listing agent didn't include any uh, verbiage or information uh, about the POS. They didn't attach it uh, to the MLS. So seeing as it's already over the budget, right? It's over your budget a little bit. I think you should make an offer uh, contingent on the seller providing you a clear POS. They're probably going to need to replace that sidewalk. They would probably need to like fix this gutter, right? So it should be minor, you know, a couple grand. But that's what I would want to want you to do. So if you do go to that listing agent, you know, make your offer, right? Contingent on third-party inspection, financing, appraisal, and the seller providing you a point of sale clear. You know, clear POS. Because if the seller doesn't correct it, what has to happen is you have to put money into escrow at the city of Garfield Heights and they give you a certain amount of time to correct it yourself before they'll give you that money back. And then if you don't correct it uh, in their time period, they can issue building violations, which could eventually lead to you getting a misdemeanor uh, charge on your record, which is something you don't want. So that is pretty much everything I've got for you, Alonzo. I hope I answered all your questions, man. And I hope you can take this one down. Again, if you want, you can make the offer through me. I've already analyzed the property, so I will act as your buyer broker if you would like me to. Uh, just so everyone knows, unless I'm selling the property in my daily emails at 1 p.m., I will not operate as anyone's buyer's agent unless I an analyze the property first. I have to do that first. Uh, you know, I work off of these analyses. I do not work as a buyer agent just randomly off of the MLS. Uh, that's just not something I am willing to do anymore at this point in my career. But if you get the analysis, I can do that for you. Or even better, I think you should just go to the listing agents directly. I will make less money because uh, you're not writing the offer through me and I'm not getting the commission offered by them. But I think you guys are going to get better deals because if your offer comes in with other offers, well, guess whose offer looks the best to the realtor? Yours. Because that realtor's paycheck just doubled. That's how you guys are going to make more money, better deals in this business by having easier access to the deal flow. The realtors, man, they're the gatekeepers to a lot of these properties, guys. So, you know, make sure you're putting your best foot forward so you can get your offers approved. That's all I've got for you. Lonzo, I hope you love the video. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Oh, for the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders 
who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.